guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's wasifanya here today we are doing a skincare routine a highly requested as well as highly anticipated video by my instagram followers so let's get started the first thing i'm going to do is wet my hands i would normally wash my hands but i just came out of the shower so i'm just going to wet my hands so i can also wet my face the first product i'm going to take is my cleanser I normally use one pump out of this bottle and then I'm just going to spray it evenly throughout my face. Most of these products that I'm going to use in this video are products that have been recommended and supplied by my beauty esthetician. I normally get them from her. Her name is Skin by Zione on Instagram. So I'm just going to apply the cleanser evenly throughout my face in circular motions. I'm going to make sure that I get my eyelids especially my eyelids because sometimes i forget to get them the back of my neck as well as also the back of my ears i will evenly spread this throughout and then i'm going to go in with my sponge This is how my sponge looks like once I have cleansed my face. I'm now going to rinse off my cleanser. I also go in with my sponge just to make sure that I get all the excess water from my face as well as my neck, especially the back of my neck because I tend to forget to remove the cleanser from the back of my neck. I do not use a face cloth at all to pat my skin dry because I believe face cloths are a good enough medium for bacteria to grow and especially due to the fact that we leave them in the bathroom, I have more control over the sponge as I can take it outside and dry it in the sun and then pack it away in my cosmetic bag unlike with my face cloth that I always used to leave in the bathroom. As you can see my skin is very very clean. I like the way the product makes me feel once I have cleansed my face. The second product I'm going in with is a chemical exfoliant, a micro peel. I normally use two pumps. They are sufficient enough for my face and my neck. I make sure that I spread the product evenly throughout my face so that I don't leave any part under too. So I make sure that I take the product and apply it throughout my entire face, evenly so. I avoid the eye area and my lip area simply because the product has a burning sensation. This burning sensation is used to indicate whether or not your skin is dehydrated or hydrated. So when your skin is dehydrated, the burning sensation is a bit strong, unlike when it's hydrated. So I make sure that I get my neck area, especially the back of my neck because I don't want to be cleansing some parts of my face and not the rest. Once I have applied the product all over my face, I then start to rub it in circular motions just for me to maximize the benefits of this product. I then rinse off the product off my hands and leave it for exactly 10 to 15, 14 to 15 minutes. I've just rinsed the product off my face and yet again I'm using my sponge to make sure that I remove the excess water. I'm going to go in with this brightening tomato mask from Diskim. I decided to do an in-depth skincare routine simply because I've been traveling.
ты раз, ты раз, ты бафу. So after 10 minutes, I've decided to remove my face sheet, face mask, <laughs> and then I'm just going to pat the excess product into my skin. However, I realized there's so much excess product, even though I tried to rub it in. So I decided to take some tissues and just, you know, pat off the excess product. I'm now going to go in with my perfect skin tone SPF 20 plus day cream and apply it evenly throughout my face and my neck area and the back of my neck. I place so much emphasis on the back of my neck because I know a lot of people forget the back of their neck. I used to be one of those people. I like to make sure that I apply more than enough product because I believe that the excess product will be absorbed by my skin just so that I can actually maximize the benefits. However, that is my own belief. I don't think that's the case and it shouldn't have to be like that for everyone. I then go in with my day cream, SPA 50 plus. I then go in with this white mask from Body Shop. This is also part of my skincare routine. I love smelling good. I believe that a scent is a statement and whenever I can, I make sure that I apply sufficient perfume or after shower mist. This is a fixing spray. I love to apply my fixing spray prior to applying my makeup. I decided to do my makeup because I was going to go to the pool this video was recorded while I was on vacation. That is the primer that I'm going to use. It's a Maybelline primer. I make sure that I put on my T-zone area because I'm always shiny around my T-zone. I'm then going to go in with my favorite MAC Cosmetic Foundation. This is my fighter guys, together with the Fit Me 356 Foundation. I use this religiously. However, I use my MAC Cosmetics only for special occasions. This wasn't a special occasion because I was on a trip. I just wanted to look beautiful and cute at the same time. For content, of course. I'm just going to damp my beauty blender and then I'm going to spread the product evenly throughout my face using a damp beauty blender.
I'm then gonna go in with my Allen GoPro concealer in the shade Fawn. I'm going to use this to highlight my under eye area. I'm going to use the same beauty blender to make sure that I blend my highlighter. I for once sometimes don't even understand why I highlight my forehead guys because there is absolutely no need. It is already so huge <laughs> but I still do it. I love to make sure that when you look at me you can see my blended highlight under my eye. So I apply excess product to make sure that it pops, you know, that pop, pop, pop. <laughs> You're gonna go in with the same beauty blender and just make sure that we evenly blend out this highlighter so that you guys cannot differentiate where it starts and where it ends. I feel like I look cute already. I'm going to go in with a powder, a loose powder, the Yardley Loose Powder in the shade Caramel. I don't like the translucent powder at all. I'm just going to make sure that I set my under eye area or every place that I've highlighted so that I avoid creasing. I'm very generous when it comes to applying loose powder. While that is setting, we are going to go in with the NYX Allego Pro Concealer to contour my face. I think the color or the shade is mahogany, I'm not really sure. I blend up my contour off camera and now I'm going in with my favorite MAC Cosmetic Highlighter. I'm going to get my cheekbones, the top of my nose, and then I'm going to go in with my fixing spray from the Rimmel brand. This is the first time I'm trying out the fixing spray because I ran out of my MAC, my MAC Cosmetic Fixing Spray. We're now going to go in with my Essence mascara i'm just going to lightly brush my lash extensions and then i'm done i didn't snap a final look picture or video because i was running late to meet up with the girls at the pool this video was shot on my vacation thank you so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and to share my channel with your loved ones so yeah